minus one. He's going to be really upset. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're in. We're in the workshop. Let's just turn that radio down. Why not, eh? Not my kind of channel anyway, Hart. It's all right now and again. A good way to polish the car. We're back. This is just a five-minute clip. Just thrown in at the end. I've just uploaded one for you, the uh, winter road trip. This follows right behind it, chasing the tail of the video today. Unusual for me to, to do that, but this would normally have been tacked on at the end, but uh, it was uploaded too quick. I don't want to pull that down. Car in. The salt off. Okay, what we got? We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Out, in, out of the coal, in, out of the salt. Into the workshop for a bit of a Maguire's detail now on the car. Warm water, a little bit of uh, detergent. It's uh, just a quick, um, oh, shampoo wax, Maguire's shampoo wax. Came with a valeting kit that I got. Hose just under the arches, wheels off and scrub underneath there. We'll start cleaning the wheels, uh, re, uh, reapplying the wax to the car, get the glass wiped down, get that salt off any traces that we can find that are left. Makes life easy. You might think, well, you know, I just took it out and a few, few questions coming in already. This video, hot on the tail of the last video uploaded today, uh, I think that's 11th of Feb, 12th, 12th of Feb, uh, just uploaded a uh, a new road trip video i hope you're enjoying that and the comments are already rolling in so thank you for those some comments straight in already now richard hello john hello dave in on there as well dave king on the last video big big thumbs up to everybody car rolled into the garage heated floor on nice and warm on the feet makes life cleaning the car easy which is one of the reasons why you might have wondered how could i have hammered it like that well, I know that when I get back here, I can get all the muck off in comfort and um, watch a film while I'm doing it. On the big screen there, we got uh, a great road trip movie, which I'll be uh, inviting you to name the film. But it's on. Gets going soon. A great uh, road trip with some Yankee muscle cars. In the meantime, let's get on and clean this up. Then I'll give you a little inspection under the engine bay. We'll see how... A typical engine bay holds up after a run like that how much muck you can expect to have to clean off it all part of the um, project this you know building the car restoring the car was one element of project Ruby and of course you could argue that Ruby finished on episode 40 but the story only starts there because the whole point of the of building the car was to use it on as many road trips as possible it's not for a museum, it's not for a trailer, it's not for a, a show, though it will go to shows, of course, but it's to, to use, that's why it's got all those driving features on it. hope that this uh, video can clarify a little bit more my reasoning behind how I've done things with the car. So I'm going to get on and do a little bit of polishing now, and we'll, we'll switch the big lights on later on, we'll, we'll show it up on the, uh, on the checker floor there, it always looks good. Okay, round to the front, a little bit of daylight just left. Okay, and then uh, we'll see how shiny it goes. Main lights will be on. I'm just in subdued light because uh, the TV screen was on. With a projector screen, you've got to have uh, dim down lights uh, to watch those, but just for the purposes of filming, you can see it with the main lights on, it's uh, not as good. Um, projector was done for driving movies what I do is I put a skate under each wheel from Clark you just jack up and put the skate on and then you can spin the car around right in front of the screen sit in the car and do an American style um, driving movie so this car ro will rotate go lengthways park right in front of the telly there 
oh, I say a Talitz projector, CRT projector, free gun, old school projector. For this size of screen, that old school projector works great. Um, picture's really good, even though it's old school. It's very cinematic with it being uh, a cathode ray setup as opposed to the digital screens you can get nowadays. Nothing wrong with the new digital projectors that are coming out, they're catching up with the quality CRT. That's a subject for another day. We're here to polish the car, give you a little post winter trip report. Okay. Yeah, Jeffro! Oh, yes, sir. It's a hoedown in the garage. Let's go. Welcome. Here's the polish. Here's the car. We are about an hour in. Front end is done. Over here. A um, little bit of uh, Meguiar's liquid wax. You can use. I like to use. Also, auto glim super resin. It's good. Anyway, we happen to be on a Maguire's pack because, there's that word again, pack. We got a little gift pack at Christmas. Like the Maguire's, it's good stuff. So, here we have it. We're warm. We've got music on. Bottom done. Wings done. Working our way to the back of the car. When we're all done, we'll take you right round and have a look. Just to put your minds at rest because it went out with such a brewing, brewing hit. Don't forget, when it did go out, it was waxed before it went out, so it's been a lot easier to clean it. Uh, warm water, warm soapy water, again with Maguire soap, just to get the dirt off, being very careful not to scratch it when you've got the salt granules. Uh, a little bit of a hose, and very lightly sprinkled it. Then some compressed air using a little air, air blowing gun, very handy. Didn't show you that, did I? We'll get that later. Blow out. With WD-40 underneath all these little bits. And also inside, we go down these little crevices and seams and folds so that the WD or the duck coil sits in there and um, just stops, uh, expels the moisture that's in. It's all bone dry anyway, but uh, good to have that in the, in the uh, seams, the door edges and the sills all the way along, even under the rubbers. We lift the door rubbers and blow the uh, oil under the door rubber and pop the door rubber back on as far around as you can get. So those things, I'm looking at about three, four hours to um, get this car clean. Uh, cleaning underneath, we'll go underneath as well. We've already gone underneath with the hose pipe, washing it down. Okay, so then we'll have the vinyl to do the roof. Uh, clean up the wheels, do the uh, tire blacking. Get a, I've got a detailing brush for the wheels, I'll show you that in a bit. So, getting it back to how it was before it went out on that grueling trip, and it won't be doing the grueling trip again. It was a one-off, I promise you that. I mean, I'm going to be going to Italy in it in April. That's the film that's playing, by the way. I've got a, a road trip movie on. It's going to be going to Italy. It's bound to rain. And <laughs> UK car shows, it's going to be raining. So one thing's for sure, it's going to be getting blitzed with water. But not as much snow and um, salt. It's the salt that's the one, really. So that's the salt we have to get off today. So we'll make sure we do that. It's an all-round car. It ain't really for trailer and into show, so I don't mind if it gets uh, so about the uh, siren. It's um, name the film. Carry on with this because the film's getting noisy. Let's go. Okay, white balance <clears throat> has to be set for for uh, uh, double F for fluorescent tubes. Otherwise, maze looks washed out grey. This end, this side of the car finished. Our quarters nicely done now. Okay, and we are polished and double polished. And then when all the polishing's done, I've got to go around this, just the um, two doors, passenger side, and the boot lid to do, and then we're done. Then we'll be running in our oil into all these little bits and then wiping off. Now you've got to be careful because you just wax it and you're going to go pour oil down here but if you're careful you'll be okay just wipe off now that it's um, polished as well things don't stick to the paint as easy okay you remember in the earlier videos if you've just joined us as well so a lot of people have just joined in recently and they've not seen 
how um, Ruby was built. This is Ruby, by the way, Project Ruby, because of the Ruby interior. That's why it was named Ruby. And a lot of people joined later on, I noticed, with popularity picked up uh, when we finished this car. So just if you've not seen it, dip back in, take your time. There's loads of videos. We do them long because then it gives you something to go back to if you do a, a short film. Once it's consumed, it's gone like a quick meal. We'd rather have something wholesome. So you can go in and, and dip into them films. Uh, a lot of people go back, they'll skip 10 minutes, 15 minutes and then leave it. You can always go back and uh, if you get an hour spare, work your way through. It's just an idea. Okay, wheels to do this side, of course. They're not as clean as they should be. But um, the paint itself is done. I noticed as well when I was first waxing this that it was a little not gritty but you can tell the texture when you're using the your microfiber cloths and um, they should glide across the paint just like mr sheen's gone on top of a glass table in your house okay that's a good analogy i don't know uh what i did i just went over with g3 a very fine cutting compound won't do any harm and then just getting it so it felt a bit more glassy and um, the car has been buffed once but I think there's no harm in uh, in uh, doing a, an, another mop on it anyway we've uh, hand buffed each panel with a little bit of G3 then one of the Maguire's waxes then on top of that the quick wax and then another polish down this side we then check um, all the uh, under arches are clean and desalted we then clean the wheels and then we put um, oil in all the little crevices door locks round the door handles let it drop behind the door handles especially round the chrome arch trim and between the seam of the outer quarter and the inner wheel tub we can try and get some in there as well it's well protected when i built it anyway but it was grueling yesterday and as I said, I said this before, it was a one-off trip. It would not normally go through something like that. But it makes the car, it breaks the car in. It's a wild horse, it's got to be tamed. Um, you may think I'm crazy for doing it, spending money and then, then going out there and, and doing that to it. But don't forget, the cars came off the production line. They were a car to be driven. And yeah, okay, you can't compare the old days with with now and say you know like for like because simply the, you know the parts for these aren't available and it's becoming expensive to restore them and so it's not like you're just getting in your Mondeo and going into the Lake District or the hills in the snow so I understand that however it's got features on it I'd like to see them work it was a nice scenic trip and we got through it unscathed so in, you could argue that I give it more attention than I would do normally so this sort of couple of ways of looking at it you probably at more risk from the stone chips and potholes that are around at the moment on the best of days probably worse in summer we get a hell of a lot of stone chips coming up now from the potholes I've noticed every county that I'm going to I'm in Lancashire but Merseyside Yorkshire pothole after pothole after pothole can we write a song about it wow we need to get uh, Mike Harding or some uh, Lancashire uh, folk singer to give us a pothole song. A bit like the Bucket of Water song, if you're old enough to remember Tiz was. Uh, what did that go like? Now I love that song. Hey, well, we all sing a song, the Bucket of Water song. <laughs> we could sing that when we're polishing our cars. Yeah! Next panel, please. Okay, courtesy of Andy, photographer. Andy N. Andy L the livester all-purpose cleaner good stuff and this brush which andy introduced me to oh wow what a brush for getting into there perfecto so some all-purpose cleaner this is strong so be really careful with it it's not good on aluminium chrome trim well it is but it really does take off the the dirt it's too good really it really uh, it'll bring you aluminium trim uh, the, the, i'm talking about the boot uh, applique uh, made it brighter in the place I put it on and had to do the whole panel because it made it that clean so just a touch of a, a what's the, how would we abbreviate that APC on there onto our Ross style and then uh, one two buckle my shoe over your uh, your nuts so brush your nuts 
in we go. I mean, you know, quite straightforward, isn't it? So I'll get on and do that, just showing you that we're keeping the car clean. Okay, ready for the NEC. Are you coming to the NEC in March 23rd? Get along, Ruby will be there on the Mark Free owner's stand. Mark Free Cortina Club stand. If you've got a Cortina and you ain't joined, why not? Get on there and join. Okay, let me do the wheels. Really does the job of having to blitz everywhere with loads of soap and water, which is not what you want. And um, microfiber cloths, colour coded, uh, did you ever realise it? It took me a while actually. Allocate a colour for the chemical that's going on it. So, a chemical for a colour, if you want to remember it mononically. Don't ask me to spell mononic because I can't. I know it starts with an MN. That's a tricky word to spell. Uh, a way of associating uh, memories to objects, I believe. No, it's my first. I think this Rostal centre cap wasn't new old stock. And look, I can see tiny speckles. So, we're going to have to take that back with thinners and then remask this look see there's our first little criticism on the Rostyle cap I think they were just good second hand ones you can get them new now they replicated the centre caps by the way I think they're on eBay uh, they used to be silly money for originals uh, now sensible prices at last and these chrome trim rings are MG in case you're wondering they weren't supposed to be on, but I like to set the wheels off with them. They're not meant to be on the car. So there's a wheel done. And also, I was thinking while I was filming this, the commentary. Uh, often I find myself not saying everything because I think it's going to sound like I'm teaching you a lot out there how to suck eggs as the saying goes or you know tell you the obvious but for as many people who do not think they know it all but are very knowledgeable as such there's as many that are ready and waiting to learn and even the obvious things just these cloths color coded cloths simple stuff it's always handy the name of the game in life is to learn something every day try and make a difference in your life and learn something new every day a new word a new trick a new skill even if it's just anything small large don't matter try and learn something every day so maybe these videos help that i hope my commentary doesn't get too monotonous a wheel done and now we shall show you the very good Maguire's gel for blacking the rubber walls, the tyre walls. Again on Maguire's tyre gel, the best I've used. I've used a few different types. This one just seems to last. Comes with a handy applicator. Prime it up, pop the lid. Get a foam pad in there, just wipe, wipe that on. It lasts, it's good. Um, I'm not endorsing deliberately, it's just I happen to have this kit. However, I'll, I'm going to tweet Maguire and say, Mike, watch my video! I'm promoting your stuff. Okay, okay, it's on the applicator, and uh, hold on. Oh, it smells like bubblegum. Ooh, that's just... Hang on a sec. Ooh, yeah, that smells like bubblegum, baby! <laughs> Such a nice... Ah, oh, Maguire's tire gel smells like bubblegum. And there you have it. Works a trick. And that little set of items there is all you need to do your wheel. Once you've obviously washed off the worst of it with some, some soap, and that's it. So that's, that's how I do my wheels. Cross to the front we go then, take all this stuff go up there and we'll do the same with that wheel and stand back and see what it's looking like got some glass cleaner to do next guys okay so same as before on with the all-purpose a little bit on the wall as well pinch of salt okay your little brush your detailing brush great this is done by auto glim for the detailing brush Holford's for that one i got it 
but it's just great look see now normally you're in trying to get the rag behind the back but no look so when I see you parked up next to me with another Mark III we're both gonna have clean wheels we're both, both gonna be in the show it could be Gary it could be Mark Marky Mark III it could be Marky Taylor it could be Gary Noggy it could be Jim and his Mark IV or five. <laughs> Okay, you're going to be parked up alongside us in the show, so you're going to say, Pete, tip the wheel. But I, I got it from Andy, so you passed the knowledge on. Right, we'll cut to this when the wheel's done. Okay, with the wheel cleaned, we turn our attention to the glass. Okay, quite a simple procedure of just doing our glass cleaning. So again, no, a change. Uh, over the floor we go. Follow me this way, everybody. Just by the, uh, the goodie section. Invisible glass, pretty pretty good, made by Stoner. How dare you? I haven't for years. Uh, Maguire's Perfect Clarity Glass Clean is also there. I've not tried that one. So up we go, we're going to compare those two. Um, the glass cleaner, some is better than others. I always found that invisible glass stuff the best. Uh, trying all, and I've, I've valeted enough Cortinas to tell you that that was that was the best one I found. Yet I'd be surprised if the Maguire's is, an, is is worse. If it, indeed it doesn't beat it, so I I know what Invisible Glass does. I'll now try this untested Maguire's glass cleaner. Procedure with the glass cleaner we're using. You can use newspaper. That's very good. I use the blue roll there. See that. Um, I use that because it doesn't leave any streaks. You can use good quality microfiber cloths too. Nice and dry for your microfiber cloth. Let's do the glass. Guys, don't forget to go and clean underneath your doors as well. Okay, we're quite clean under here, but just a, a wipe down. And this is where we'll be letting our oil seep in. Okay, this is a notorious line for going. How long mine lasts over the years, I don't know. I'm missing a rubber strip as well. It's a sort of air draft strip. I need to fit that. The reason I didn't do it is because it crossed across my uh, puddle light here. I've got a puddle light there. So I need to make a shorter strip. I'll do that. I forgot about that. Just That just plugs into those holes. That's a draft. Extra. It basically stops wind noise and also stops your sills getting drawing dirt in. You can get that a lot on your steps. So, anyway, talking of the steps, they're clean. Don't forget to do your, your wheel arches as well. So, some muck just coming out of there. Let's have a look. We'll see what that is. So it could be wax. We'll just give that a clean up. Just some drain holes at the end. Don't forget, these are laced heavily with wax oil from the build. If you watch the build, you'll see that. Anyway, mustn't forget the bottom of the doors and the sills themselves going along there. Okay, we're nearly done this side. That's the clean up after the winter trip, after the winter road test. Glass! Guys, glass! Maguire's versus Invisible. Not much in it. <laughs> Just the Maguire smells. <laughs> it smells nicer. Mm. Oh, I must be putting the addictive chemicals in there. Right, okay, ins and outs on the glass. Okay, some mucky sills this side. Really careful now. <clears throat> this will be from when the hose. I did have the hose lightly on for the unsalt, so it's blasted some stuff in. We're going to carefully remove that now. Very carefully remove these particles. We don't want to drag them back and scratch, you see. So that's part of it. We don't want to lay scratches in there. These sills do get probably the most stick on the car in terms of paint. You inevitably catch the edges um, I have on Swampies. Although well, Swampies are stone chipped down. This isn't stone chipped. I prefer stone chipping myself, but I wanted to try it on this car without. But it just stops you having to keep going to the paint shop. As often, anyway, because you can touch up on stone chip yourself. Um, anyway. We need to just block these off. I'll get a cloth now and just dab them off. And then just put some spray water on there. That's all it'll be. 
and just just get that back not quite sure how I'm gonna do that how do I normally do it I'll wash it back with water I'll do that carefully then with a damp cloth different one this different color just picking it up shaking off them bits sorry camera went off then apologies I wasn't watching okay could use light compressed air as well I just don't want to drag any particles back now then we've got some tar there's some tar that's stuck on road tar ladies and gentlemen a little bit of WD sprayed on that will get that off or tar, bug and tar remover sprayed on it let's lightly take that off we want to be really careful you might think of being extreme not hit much tar on it but the road tar's got under there I'm going to put some bug remover on that and I don't know if the camera will pick it up we're peppered with road tar can you see that there we get in so we've got bug remover on a cloth here and we're just going to let it soften it and slowly remove let it break it down it's definitely road tar if not we've got scratches no it's bug road tar remover tar very gently with that then then we're finished and also while I'm working on around the door areas time to do the, the door shuts and underneath that door again like we did at the back and get ready to apply the oil on the seams around these locking areas or little areas like this get the oil in but for now I'll clean and wipe down we go underneath there now a little bit of soap we'll get that now just making my clear on the, the drain holes too while we're at it this side all done guys nice and clean okay so around the car we go all front end done so just two doors to do which I'll do next if we don't run out of time tonight I may upload this before I do that we'll just see how it goes but clean just a wing mirror I suppose to uh, auto sol glass done then and ready to rock okay and a little evening clip I'll show you the the cinema now before we call it a day then we'll upload just so you know the car's safe in safe hands in case you're worried about that post winter trip because that's why I'm worried that you're worrying let's get this up car in the driving movie YouTube can't get that so we're alright so we swivel the car around on the coasters and then you can have a driving movie experience I'll show you what it's like inside the car hold on a sort of rough idea of what you get well I'll be facing the other way but driving movie we put some 50s music on some milkshakes we've got all the 50s stuff as well so that'd be it's good fun to do not done that in Ruby yet we will do though Windows down for the sound. I'm not going to get on the radio. There's no need. Okay, over and out. Uploading now. Ruby cleaning video. Uploading. Over and out. Thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. Plenty more videos in the pipeline. Over and out for this clip. Come on Swampy, get in, in you get, it's cold out there.
promised you an engine bay shot before I close the film. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's going to need some TLC in here. Quite a lot of uh, dirt's got in on that trip. Look at it here. I'm going to need to be really careful here. So we'll give this some very delicate tension tomorrow. Tomorrow evening after work, we'll give this some very, very delicate attention. I'm sure we'll we'll, uh, we'll do it. But it's got it's got mucky in there. Not mega mucky, but mucky. So lots of cleaning to be doing to get this uh, looking how it should. We'll uh, catch that up next time. So over and out for now, and that's the end of this film. Just letting you know that we're in good hands after the trip. See you in a bit. Over and out, Cortina City, signing off.